Trypanosoma gambiense life cycle in tsetse fly. Third, development in salivary gland. Later, the long slender forms make their way into salivary glands via the oesophagus and mouth parts of insect. Here, they metamorphose into the cryptidial forms with shortened body, reduce free flagellum and the kinetoplast in front of the nucleus. The mitochondria develops an extensive network of cristae and the parasite respires more economically as the blood glucose gradually declines. The cristidial forms multiply in the lumen of salivary glands and transform into slender metacyclic forms. At this stage, the mitochondrial activity is again suppressed when the tetsi fly bites a healthy person. It transfers the metacyclic forms along with saliva into his blood where they initiate another infection.